Have you ever wondered how the Milky Way galaxy looks? Where all of these trillions of stars and planets are located? In today's video, I am going to take a picture of the blow dryer galaxy or Messier 100, which is pretty similar to our own home Milky Way galaxy. So stay until the end of this video in order to find out how I captured the blow dryer galaxy and of course the final result. Are you wondering where you will find more content of mine? If you do, make sure to follow me on my social media, Instagram and TikTok and you will not regret. There I upload many astrophotography pictures, I create many behind the scene stories and many more which you will discover when you click that follow button. In addition to that, I want to say that I have a Patreon account and there I upload many stacked images of many projects and I upload facts and tips about very popular deep sky objects. So if you like this content, make sure to subscribe with a low price of $1.99 and your support will not be unrewarded. Let's head now to the video. It's another clear night here in my backyard from my boarding class 4 to 5 backyard and I am pretty excited to capture this galaxy as I said before it is a galaxy which looks pretty similar to the Milky Way which is our home galaxy and planet Earth is also included in it. So tonight I am going to capture this galaxy using the telescope you see right next to me and of course the camera the DSLR which I have used many times before and in many videos so it's not something new for me. Additionally the target I am going to capture is also something not new for me. Uh, I have captured it before and uh, this is the result I got. I don't know why I think uh, it's somehow monochrome and I don't remember how I achieved this result but here I am going to capture something better than this target. I want to recreate this image because it was kind of bad I guess. Before I said that the night sky quality is gonna be questionable and this is because it is expected to rain in uh, the dawn hours about 5 to 6 a.m. and uh, yeah I have to keep an eye on uh, the weather because I don't want everything to be destroyed. I know I am going to take a very big risk but I'm just gonna have to keep an eye always and all night. I don't mean that I'm just not gonna sleep tonight but I just have to be conscious, get the feeling that something bad is happening and then I rush out and save my gear right here. I have got through this many times before and trust me, it's not a very good experience. As you can tell here it's still daytime. Right now I'm just gonna wait for one hour. Then I'm gonna start setting up the cables here with the motor drive, the dew heater and uh, the rest of these things which are associated with the planning of this session which I'm gonna do on astrophotography tool. Okay guys, so it's past midnight, about 14 minutes and right now I am taking pictures of the blow dryer galaxy. I have already collected enough data to work with but because I finished with the meridian flip and all this stuff now I am back at it and I am capturing the galaxy. As you can see here on my APT preview the galaxy shows a very nice structure overall. It's pretty nice, I guess. The guiding looks nice too. Although the numbers are not that perfect. But yeah, it's just because I dithered recently. And you can see here that 
the star which uh, I use as the main guide star is here and the software tries to center it exactly on that cross so this is how it looks I want you to take a, a sneak peek on uh, how my project is going so far and uh, yeah I hope everything is going to go well there are no clouds right now and I hope they will not evolve right now because I am in the middle of capturing and I cannot live with two hours of data so I just want to get the best out of this night even if it is eventually going to rain at 5 or 6 a.m.